All right, this is the club's uh, LX200 uh, deck motor assembly. And just give you a, a little bit of video to sort of give you an idea of what it is that I'm working on. And this, um, this is the assembly that had the uh, uncontrolled slewing after we replaced the motor control board. So the motor control board is over we're underneath here. This is uh, this is what we replaced. So I was trying to diagnose the uh, uncontrolled slewing, and uh, what I found out was, uh, you know, I, I I couldn't figure it out, and then I did some uh, sleuthing on the internet, and uh, much to my surprise, I found uh, over here I have a schematic from uh, this place called telescopeservice.com. It's a Mead LX200 classic motor assembly uh, schematic. So what I realized um, in looking at this, the uh, when I traced out the wires, uh, they were wrong. So the way I had soldered them up was wrong. And uh, the problem was is I didn't have access to this uh, schematic. Um, the instructions uh, for that motor assembly essentially said desolder it from the uh, the original motor control board, which is uh, this is one of them. Desolder it from there, and then just resolder it in the order that you uh, desoldered it. So that's what I did, and uh, that was I think causing the issue. So I had sort of a eureka moment. But in the process of uh, of doing that, resoldering all these uh, pieces uh, back together. Um, I discovered that we had a a, uh, a busted um, LED. So back here underneath, this is the the motor assembly, DC motor. There's you can see this thing here. There's there's two little spots. Those are actually LEDs, and they are hooked up to the motor control board with some of these little leads, and they emit light uh, through this uh, encoder disc and you can see there's a uh, one spot there and another spot there the emit light uh, this encoder disc spins very very slowly uh, the light goes through those little slots and it's picked up uh, this is the this is the end plate and it's uh, picked up by these little um, leads here these are uh, photodiodes so they sort of read the light and then those photodiodes go back to the uh, motor control board, and that's how it um, knows where it is or how many turns the motor's made. Well, the, the problem is that um, I can't get those LEDs out. Um, here's a I, – I did find the LEDs. Here's a, here's a close-up of one of them. It's uh, pretty small. Uh, they were like 12 cents a piece, so I got about 10 of them. But uh, there's two of them, and they, they fit in that little recess, and then uh, these leads are soldered together, and then the leads go up to the motor control board. The, the problem is, is I can't get them. I don't think I can get them out. I'd have to dig them out from the other side. My, my goal was to take this little thin little um, encoder disc off and then push them out through, through the aluminum housing down there. But uh, as you can see... Uh, it's pretty pretty thin. I, I put a screwdriver in there and tried to pry it off. There's no grub screws to loosen up. Um, I was a little concerned about applying too much pressure pressure and possibly breaking something, especially that disc. Uh, and also the, that, that encoder disc is also directly connected to the shaft or the DC motor. And I figured if I pulled uh, too hard on that... Um, we might end up in trouble with the DC motor. I'm sure we could source it from somewhere else, but uh, I'm getting a little tired of this project. <laughs> I'd rather not uh, break anything they don't need to. So I, I I don't know what I need to do at this point. I think uh, maybe possibly digging them out from the backside. I'm sure, it's a sort of a messy proposition down here. Going at it with a couple of um, a couple of drill bits or something in the uh, the soldering gun. So, anyways, that's uh that's where we are with the uh, 
the LX200. Hopefully we can uh, get those out, get it soldered up, and uh, thing, things will work. Um, I got my fingers crossed. It seems like we do uh, two steps forward and three steps back, but um, we, we are making some kind of progress, I guess. I don't know. Knowledge. I don't know. Uh, but if anybody wants to help out or has any ideas, um, I would, you know, four eyes and two brains are better than um, two and one. So, anyways, that's uh, that's where we're at. The uh, deck motor assembly.